soldiers, leaders, families and friends of the Bastogne Brigade, thank you for attending today's ceremony. You honor us all with your presence. The casing of our colors symbolizes the movement of the brigade from our home here at Fort Campbell to our new theater of operations in Afghanistan. Throughout history, this ceremony traditionally marked the end of an active period of service for a unit. It was generally a somber event as the unit left the roles of active units in the U.S. Army. Since September 11th, the casing of the colors has taken on a different significance. It's a sign that America's sons and daughters are going to war. It's as if a lamp has been placed under a hood, but briefly, and the light has been extinguished for a brief period of time. Since 9-11, the Bastogne Brigade has cased and uncased its colors four times. In this span of time, the presence of the Bastogne colors in a foreign land has meant that the United States has sent its very best. It's become a sign that freedom and hope will soon follow. In 2003, these colors were unfurled first in Kuwait and then carried into Iraq, where Bastogne soldiers liberated an oppressed people. In 2005, these colors were unfurled in Kirkuk, Iraq, where they began to push back the wave of violence that was threatening to rip that country apart. In 2007, in Tikrit, Iraq, these colors in Afghanistan helped seal the gains made by the surge and ended an insurgency in an area that was believed lost to the enemy. In 2010, these colors were encased in Jalalabad and helped push back enemy gains in some of the most difficult and dangerous terrain known to man. Now we case our colors a fifth time to return to Afghanistan to build upon the foundation of progress from past units and to make real the commitments of the past 11 years. Now before I continue, I want to take a moment to recognize the hard work and sacrifice of the No Slack Battalion and the Bandit Squadron. The meritorious unit site commendation is awarded to units for exceptionally meritorious conduct in the performance of outstanding services for at least six continuous months during the period of military operations against an armed enemy. No Slack and Bandit has received this meritorious unit citation award for their hard work and sacrifice during their 2010 to 2011 deployment to Afghanistan's Kunar province. These two units fought against a savvy and determined enemy in inhospitable terrain. But these two units pushed the enemy out of key areas, enabled their Afghan partners, and set the conditions for the progress we are seeing today. As we prepare to deploy back to Afghanistan, it is fitting we recognize the achievement of these two great units. Please join me in a round of applause. Every generation of leaders and soldiers in the Army has faced its own challenges. In World War II, the challenge for the Bastogne Brigade was to defeat Nazi forces in Europe. In Vietnam, it was to push back communist aggression. In Desert Storm, it was to liberate Kuwait. Today, we face a very different and difficult challenge. More difficult in some ways, easier in others. Our challenge is to make our nation more secure by creating stability where violence and chaos reign. To understand our environment and then determine the right combination of actions, both Afghan and American, that are required to make the area more hospitable to growth and development. It's hard, frustrating work. And to excel in it, we must be smart, doggedly determined, principled, and patient. We cannot wish this challenge away. Our only option is to embrace it, accept it as the challenge of our generation, and then set about winning our nation's war. Challenges like these need outstanding soldiers and leaders to stand up and continue to honor the sacrifice of the last 11 years. The men and women of the Bastogne Brigade are ready for these challenges. The Bastogne Brigade stands ready to provide certain victory in an uncertain environment. These colors that were cased today are not ours. They don't belong to us. They are entrusted to us for a period of time and then we hand them over to our successors. 
It's our duty to hand over these colors, our legacy, improved upon and expanded. And that is what we'll do in Afghanistan. When these colors are flown again in Afghanistan, many Afghans will recognize them. And they will know that as these colors are unfurled, hope, progress, and security will soon follow. Thank you very much. Basto, Air Assault.